so today we are testing the new Shredder Pro by Vaima. The new precious plastic shredder made in collaboration with Vaima. We have a bunch of different kinds of pipes, including this old water pipe we got straight out of the ground from Project Camp. And we want to see how fast the machine will turn them into flakes. This is Jan, he is going to use the shredder. Let's start with these common water pipes. Okay, that was easy. Let's try a slightly thicker one. Also, no problem. Okay, we saw that the machine had no problem shredding this. Let's try something else. A thin but really long LDP pipe. Let's see how this goes. It's getting stuck in the sides. Okay, it got swallowed like a spaghetti. Okay, so far the machine handled quite well thin tubes. But let's step it up. Let's try this time a bigger one. Oops, got stuck. Let's try to reverse it. Done. Uh, let's try another one. Maybe this size is too big. Let's try to cut it in half. Threads with no problem. Let's see how much we shredded so far. Quite a bit. It's impressive how the volume shrunk. And we can double check it's made out of LDP. A quick way to test is with water. LDP should float. Yes, it does. Okay, next we will transform the flakes into something, but before doing that, let's shred a few other tubes. First, we clean the shredder, which is quite easy, just need to remove the covers and clean it with the air compressor. With the shredder clean, we can try a different kind of plastic. Let's start with the thin, and colorful PP pipes. Okay, this was really easy. Let's try some thicker ones. Almost feels like they are made out of paper. Okay, uh, this was too easy. Let's try some longer ones. This was fun. Let's throw some more in. Ooh, 
really nice to see the mix of colors. Okay, we need to put the machine to the limit. Let's try a really long one. And did you know this machine is open source? Yeah, we provide all the drawings so you can build one for yourself. Or you can also buy it already made on the bazaar, so you can start trading. Impressive. This time let's try a really thick one. Yeah, it doesn't want to go in. Done. A lot of shredded plastic. And we got a colorful mix. Okay, now to finish, we have a special pipe because it comes straight from Project Camp. This is a pipe that was buried in their land for a lot of years and our friends there found it recently, but was broken. So they decided to bring it here to get recycled. It's a bit thicker than the previous LDPE pipes, but we have it chopped it into pieces. Let's see how it shreds. No problem. We have a lot of pipe, let's keep going. The machine was struggling quite a bit with these pipes. Not sure if there was something special about them. I guess the diameter is just right for them to roll and not go down. And then the teeth get it all at once. Perhaps we need a stronger motor. So let's try to cut them a bit and see how it goes. There they go. We shredded a lot and it's impressive how much it shrank in volume. Before, the project cam pipes were like this, and now it's just a box of shredded flakes. The other black tubes we shredded occupied all this space, and now only half of the box. And the colorful pipes before, and now. Really interesting. Okay, let's mix something with the water pipe from Project Camp. We can use the shredded flakes straight in our injection machine. We are going to make a few tests to see what we can do with it. This is Caro, by the way. She is going to use the injection machine. We borrowed a few molds from our friends to test it out. Ok, time to continue, because the plastic is already melting down and the machine is at the right temperature. Time to inject. It goes pretty smooth, considering it's quite old plastic. So, let me show you what we have. Basic precious plastic tile came out pretty smooth. A screwdriver from John and Plasto, pretty good as well. He actually sells them on the bazaar. You can support the guy and get one for Christmas. 
and the classic hook from our friends at Project M. It started as an old broken pipe in the ground, it got cleaned up, shredded and molded into new things. Pretty cool to see actual trash being transformed into something new. And the finishing of the product looks pretty nice, smooth with a subtle pattern. And they feel very durable. But to be fair, they did stink a bit in the first few minutes. But it got out. This time we just made a few items to test it out. A lot of potential to do more. We documented everything in the research module where you can get more details. Let us know if you have any other ideas on what we can do with this old pipe. And let us know if you have another waste stream we should try to shred and inject. So we will try to get it. Bye!